Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and good morning to all of you alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala nabihi wa mustafa wa ba'd may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all in this beautiful morning or if it is evening time uh, in your locality may Allah bless you everywhere and every time uh, the reason for this live broadcast uh, it's early morning here in Cairo, Egypt. Uh, I mean, we just prayed Fajr, alhamdulillah. And uh, a little earlier, I had a live show with Yusuf Estes in his program on Guide Us. And subhanAllah, the first caller was somebody from Chicago. He's a revert. And his question was that he is paralyzed from the chest and down. So he is in a wheelchair 24-7. Uh, he cannot move only his arms from the chest and down he is paralyzed and guess what was his question brothers and sisters he was in calling to ask for any financial assistance or any help uh, or any sort of uh, things like that rather his uh, inquiry was about how can I make wudu in my condition since I don't have anyone to assist me in uh, my wudu, I live by myself. Uh, besides that, it was heartbreaking and it was very emotional, but it was very strengthening. It was very strengthening to me, to Sheikh Yusuf, and to the audience. And he said, I'm very patient and I'm happy with the decree of Allah. And I learned patience from, uh, I learned patience from a Muslim family when I was uh, in school and my classmate his father passed away and his sister etc so he had an experience which led him to islam at the age of uh, 15. then um, he, he stayed with us for the whole program by the way while even we're taking other calls we have learned a lot from this revered brother whose name now is muhammad who is paralyzed from the chest and down i did answer his question about how to perform ablution in this condition but I have a few reflections over this incident brothers and sisters that subhanallah many of us most of us are enjoying the countless blessings which Allah bestowed upon us and we barely remember to say thank you Allah the na'mah which the brother uh, is missing mobility being able to even answer the call of nature like regular people being able to uh, move his body from the chest and down making ablution standing up for the prayer or whatever is actually something that the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi brought our attention when he said that Ala kulli sulama fi kulli yawmin sadaqa. every one of us should say Thank you, Allah, for our equal number, uh, equal number of times to the number of the joints in his body, in his bones, between the bones, which enable each and every one of us to move, to move around, to function. Subhanallah, to go about everything in our life, the joints, the joints, you know, between the bones, there are joints, whether the big bones, like at the elbow that's a joint at the shoulder or the finger joints the toe joints uh, the hip um, and even the skull the skull uh, it consists of segments it's not one piece and between each two segments there's something called sutures it's like uh, the zipper those sutures uh, in, anat in anatomy they are considered joints so that in case, God forbid, you got hit or somebody got in a collision, they glide against each other. So they protect the brain from having a concussion, subhanAllah. And then the Prophet Sallallahu said, he uh, mentioned approximately 360 of those uh, joints. And he said, each and every one of them deserves Thank you, Allah, on daily basis. 
So I remembered when Muhammad was saying that he is paralyzed from the chest and down and he's not capable to perform ablution and he was asking how can I do ablution properly according to my condition. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said ala kulli sulama fi kulli yawmin sadaqa and he said among the means of giving this charity in order to say thank you Allah for the joints for just the blessings of the joints which give us the ability to move freely and function and, and do everything in our lives. He said, when you say Subhanallah, it's an act of charity. Alhamdulillah, it's an act of charity. Allahu Akbar, it's an act of charity, etc. And he said, uh, when you remove a harmful object from the path of people, it's an act of charity. When you enjoy something good or forbid something evil, that's an act of charity. What we're doing right now in this live broadcast, hopefully it's an act of charity, whether me presenting it or you listening to it. These are all acts of charity. He said, peace be upon him. There's something that you can do once a day and it will be sufficient. It will take care of all the blessings and their thanks and their gratitude uh, in case that you cannot keep up with the 360 ways of saying thank you Allah or giving any charity. He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to pray two rakahs of the forenoon. These two rakahs are known in the Sunnah as Rakatay al duha the two rakahs of duha So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, you know, after Fajr, you're not praying anything until it is uh, sunrise. Then when the sun rises, there are certain people who worship Satan, certain people who worship fire, they worship during this time and they pray during this time. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, don't you pray during this time because uh, the Satan worshippers, the fire worshippers, the sun worshippers, they worship during this time. So hold on, in respect of your voluntary prayers, do not pray during this time. But when the sun rises, the height of a spear, uh, Time-wise, it's about 15 minutes from the moment that sun rises until it rises the height of a spear from the horizon. So, 15 minutes. After that, you can pray these two rakahs, which the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called him rakahatay al duha If you offer these two rakahs, it will be sufficient to give thanks for the blessings of the 360 joints which we enjoy and the caller Muhammad is not enjoying and it is affecting his life big time but Allah has granted him a great deal of patience you see as I'm talking I'm moving around you know I don't have alhamdulillah any disability and uh, when I was sick uh, last month and I was dying because of the COVID when I cannot contracted COVID uh, due to the severe pain at one point I thought oh Allah take my soul because anyway I thought I'm not gonna make it now I remember that I shouldn't have said so uh, I should have just trusted Allah more and said oh Allah give me shifa but the pain was unbearable but this is not this is nothing compared to the caller who called earlier Muhammad, and you can watch the episode, you will find it below. He said, I'm very strong, uh, I have a lot of patience, alhamdulillah, and I thank Allah for everything that He gave me. MashaAllah, laqwata illa billah. So, from now on, it's hard to skip these surakas, rakatay al duha, rakatay al duha. And if you happen, to pray the Fajr and Jama'ah and sit with her with your family. I know most of the masajid, uh, they're closed and those who are open, they do not allow people to stay after the prayer. Like we just prayed Fajr, it was beautiful. But right away after we finished the Salah, they said, get out. So we had to leave because of the regulations due to the uh, pandemic COVID-19 and so on. So if you pray in the masjid, then you go home and you sit, recite your adhkar or Qur'an until sunrise, 15 minutes later, you pray two rakahs. Or like most of us living in the States or in Europe, we don't live 
live nearby a masjid. So we end up praying at home. You lead your family in the prayer. And you pray uh, the Fajr, Jama'ah. Then you sit 45 minutes or an hour, depending on what time you pray Fajr, until past sunrise and you pray these two rakahs. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, In return, now you give thanks to the blessings of the joints. As-Sulama. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, And in return, the Almighty Allah will grant you the reward of performing complete Hajj and Umrah. And he emphasized that by repeating it three times. Brothers and sisters, this is all what I wanted to say this morning. Alhamdulillah for being able to move freely, bend over, pick up items, uh, drive, climb stairs, go upstairs, downstairs, assist our own selves in answering the call of nature, in going to the bathroom, cleaning up after work, performing wudu, and offering the prayers. How many uh, times we have to say thank you, Allah? Countless number of times. So he said, you just pray the two rakahs in the duha, or as you in the Indian subcontinent region, you like to call it, ishraq. Or shuruq prayer, it is the same. Do not miss out the two rakahs. The minimum is two rakahs. You can pray. The Prophet Sallallahu used to pray four, two by two. And sometimes he would go up to eight. But regularly he used to pray four, two by two. So the minimum, two rakahs. The average, four, two by two. And up to eight rakahs. Some of the scholars said even up to more. But in any case, in mashallah, if we just stick to praying two rakahs of the duha, that would be cool. May Allah the Almighty enable us to worship Him the way that He pleases Him. May He grant us the greatest reward and the ultimate reward of entering paradise and enjoying the company of the Prophet ﷺ in Al Firdaus Al A'la. Ameen. Allahu maafil lana dunubana wa kafir an nasiyatina wa tawfana ma al abrar. اللهم هيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا وجعلنا من عبيدك السعدا ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا stay safe stay protected take care of yourselves and your family members may Allah keep us all safe sound and maintain the best level of Iman. Ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.